hey designers welcome back to my channel and first you guys will need your basic bodice or your basic dress pattern you guys will need nude mesh any nude mesh that matches yourself or your client this is how it looks it's very thin but that's a good thing and you guys will need some stretch velvet I'm using gray I also got some feather trim from high trimming yes and again, you guys will also need a metal zipper or invisible zipper. I also have my bodice applique. Ooh, so pretty. I got mine from Exclusive Fabrics. So pretty. And this is how it would be on my client. Ay, so cute, so pretty. And this is the sketch that I will be uh, going off of. First, you guys should get your fabric and fold it in half. Get your basic bodice or basic dress pattern and put it on fold. Make sure you guys add your measurements. You guys will have to cut from neck to waist and waist to knee all the way back up again. Make sure you guys add your measurements and add your client's measurements as well. Now we are starting with the back, the center back. So here I'm just going to cut a line down the center and make it even and that's where the zipper will be going. So this is the center back of the dress. And you guys should end up with two pieces, one left side, one right side. And this is my zipper. Go ahead and add your zipper to the back of your dress. But first, you're going to top stitch, fold over and top stitch the neckline, and then fold over and top stitch the bottom hem. This is exactly what I mean. We're going to do the hem first before we even do the front. So sew your hems on your left side and your right side separately. This is how it should look when you're finished. This is how the neckline should look when it's finished. Then I also added the zipper. This is what you guys should have and you guys will see why. Because we will not be hemming the mesh. See? Now the other side. After you're done, this is what your back should look like with the zipper. See? Zipper in, zipper done. Yes. Everything is pinned. Now we're going to do the front. Take your basic bodice or basic dress and put it on fold on your mesh. And yes, this mesh does stretch. And the mesh, I got it from Fabric World USA. Make sure you guys order a sample first. And that is it. You guys should have one piece for your center front, just like this. And again, we are not hemming the mesh. Remember that, guys. It's very important. We are not hemming. And yes, it does stretch. After I'm done, I'm just showing you guys, I have surged the side seams together and I top stitched the side seams down. It is so clean, so good. In the neckline, I just cut and made it round. Again, this is how it should be sewn. It's very clean. You will surge your side seams together, fold it over and top stitch. Now get your bodice applique and we're gonna go ahead and cut it out. I got a wood burner, y'all. I got my wood burner from Amazon. A wood burner, basically, it's better than using your scissors to cut out the applique. And I'm gonna show you exactly what it does. This is a great tool. I got it from Amazon. You can get it from Home Depot or any arts and crafts store. It's an on and off button, but it does get very, very hot. Can you guys see that? Ooh, Lord. Yes, it gets very hot. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what it does. So basically it melts the mesh. So instead of using your scissors, you can use the wood burner to go around the applique as close as you can as possible because a scissor cannot do that. And once you pull away the mesh, it's clean. Basically you're removing the scissors out of the equation and you guys are using a wood burner. Now, you're not supposed to be doing this on the table like how I am. The best thing to do is get a cardboard or some foil, but my table is in, it's a design table, so I don't care if it gets messed up. And see, it comes right off. Next, I'm just putting my applique on the center of the mannequin and putting a pin. And also, this applique does stretch. And again, my dress form is a size 2. My client is a size 2, kind of. So, um, just take the bodice applique and stretch to the side seams. See, I'm pulling the applique to the side. That's how you guys will know. Once your client has it on, it will not be baggy in the front. That's the worst thing you guys should have is bagginess in your applique. That would not look good on your client. So get your pins, pin it to the side, 
and the more pins the better if you need it. Remember that no one's judging you for using multiple pins. Now, a lot of people have this problem. When you have this problem, it's okay. See how if I go up, it's a gap, if I go on the bottom, it's too much. We here are gonna cut in between the spotted applique where there's no beading at all. So right there, there's no beading. Just go underneath it, and then we're gonna pull the applique down so the client won't know that it was too big. You wanna pull it down and sew that together. I'm gonna cut a little bit more because it's kind of big, and make sure you guys cut the mesh as well. And that's it. This is a little trick. And once you guys are done with that, pin it to your mannequin and you're gonna sew. I'm gonna do the same thing to this side so you guys can see it a little better. Get your scissors if it's too big. Make sure you guys are not cutting the mesh on the dress form. Snip and bring that piece down and you guys are gonna top stitch. And that is it. A little trick. Make sure you guys try this and make sure you guys know where, where you're cutting first before you actually cut into the bodice applique. You guys do not want to mess up this part. You guys do not want to cut into the mesh and you guys do not want to cut into the bodice applique wrong because if you do, the beads will come off and that's not a good thing. See, pull it to the side, pull it down, get your pins and pin it. That's it. And if you guys want, you can also remove some of the beading, but in this case, I didn't. And this takes time, guys. This takes time, and this takes practice. Okay, we're done. Everything is pinned and it's looking so pretty. Now you guys can get your matching thread. I'm using a gray thread. I'm using my two inch needle that I love working with. And you guys are gonna sew your bodice applique all the way around. And that's it. Simple. Make sure you guys stay tuned for part two and I'll see you guys in my next video. Smooches. Mwah.